Michael killed him with his bleeds hey, the first hey, watch, time. Watch the Liberty Technician on. Okay. <laughs> He's on the other side of the truck. <laughs> there goes his shield! <laughs> He's got a defender drone? Why? Yeah, but yeah, I mean... Up mouse or keyboard? I use a mouse and a keyboard. I mean, well, oh yeah, of course. But <laughs> keyboard control on my back. Because I use a controller. Oh, you play a controller too? I want to build console. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, most games. So a lot of games I This guy went rogue on me. Are you good? Hey, <laughs> I killed him. Tell me, bro. What is going on YouTube family? It's Be Righteous from Identity and I am back with another build video. Hold up, it's legacy week isn't it? So today is special. Last patch I made a total of 22 builds uploaded consistently on a weekly basis. Every single one of those builds I miss because in their current state aren't viable for this patch. So let's make them viable. I posted a community vote on my channel to see which build you wanted me to bring back. Honestly, I'm not surprised that the Liberty Technician, a subscriber's favorite, won the vote. So that's what I'm showcasing today. If you love Division 2 like me and interested in builds from DPS all the way to skill, then please drop a like and don't hesitate to subscribe. TU6 was a disaster when it came to balancing and I could not wait till it was over. But one thing I missed about it was the ability to make builds with crazy versatility. Well, the Liberty Technician gives me those feelings of nostalgia all over again. The hybrid tank with a threatening presence is back, but this time with an even more menacing intent. The purpose of this build is to be a tank that wields a bulwark shield and a Liberty Exotic pistol that hits so hard it shouldn't be classed as a tank, but a DPS. Its ability to deal massive amounts of damage with your weapon and skills makes this build one of the most overpowered builds you have ever seen. With the Liberty Technician, you're able to use whatever skill is fitting for the situation, but I'll show you which one is the most efficient for this build. So stay tuned for this one because it is a game changer. All right, so here's the build y'all. I really feel like this is the game changer in the current state of the game, how difficult it is. I know that the damage buff glitch is really putting a stain on this game and really making it so that it's unplayable. Some people are using it, some people aren't, but Honestly, I don't know how long it's going to be going on. They tried to fix it, and then the next day, it was right back again. So, I'm going to just focus on my builds, what I've been doing. So, I appreciate everyone's support. Let's get right into this. The Liberty Technician is a legacy build from TU6 that I decided to bring back. And this is a series that I'm going to be doing for a lot of my older builds because I really love them and I miss them. And I think that in this patch, they'll be even better than they were before. Now, this one was a subscriber favorite. I personally really like this build. 
because it's so overpowering and so hard to deal with. And you're gonna see why. I'm using the technician specialization with this because with technician, it gives you an extra skill tier and it does more damage to robotics. It gives you extra skill damage. It just does a lot of things that you want. And it's the perfect specialization for hybrid builds. For the weapons, you're not gonna use any of these weapons right here, okay? You're just not, so it doesn't matter what's here, especially since holster talents are no longer a thing. You don't need them. This is the only weapon you need, the Liberty Exotic Pistol. I got this from farming pistols and it dropped off a random enemy. So that's how you get this weapon if you're asking. It's hitting for 400,000 damage on a pistol. The Liberty always hit hard, in my opinion. That's why I think that it's the perfect weapon to do a pistol build with, shield build especially. Now I wanna show you the exotic mods, okay? It gives you 5% critical hit chance on the scope, 15% stability, which is important because the D50 is unstable when you shoot it, and it has a 15% rate of fire. And then the magazine gives you 15% reload speed. This is the perfect pistol for a D50. This talent is liberty or death. Gain a stack. Okay, you need to listen to this because this is fitting just right for a shield build. Gain a stack on each hit up to 30. Headshots consume all stacks, repairing your shield for 3% per stack. So let's say you get 30 stacks, okay? Just from hitting people on the body. And you, you can stack this up, by the way, by hitting skills or hitting those mini tanks or, or dogs. And then once you see an enemy, then you hit him in the head, you can get 90% of your shield back. And what this does, it makes it so that you can be more versatile with your shield. So that means you don't have to be relying on point man or any talent that makes you feel like you have to use something to make the shield more tanky. The shield, because of how it was changed, it's, it's gonna be tanky anyway. So you might as well do other things with it. The whole point is to not get hit, right? So once your shield is gone, then you're vulnerable anyway. So you might as well do how you want to do it, right? For the mask, I'm using the Douglas and Harding mask. Okay, this is specifically for the pistol damage. It gives you 20% pistol damage, which is a pretty good amount. I mean, all the other bonuses give you 10% for their one piece. Like the Fenris gives you 10%. Overlord gives you 10%. Petrov 10. So I think this is why pistols are really good and they have been for a while because it gives you that 20% damage, but that's not it. You're going to see as the build goes on. It came with 10% skill damage and 9.6% status effects. You're not really going to worry about the status effects, but the skill damage, that's what you want to pay attention to. I wrote skill tier on here. And if you notice, this is a six skill tier shield build. All right. So you don't need to be tanky, but because I have six skill tier, the shield is going to be tanky. It's going to be maximum. And I utilize my skill tier to make my skills super strong. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, the chess piece. I'm running the Hana Yu Corporation. Hana Yu Corporation is the perfect brand set for hybrid skill haste, skill damage, weapon damage. Granted, I don't have the third piece, but I don't need it because it doesn't fit in this build. But this came with 9.7% skill damage and it already came in skill tier. I rolled glass cannon. <laughs> glass cannon for a DPS tank. I don't know what other talent you would use with this build. I mean, glass cannon. All damage you deal is amplified by 25%, which increases my pistol damage and drone damage, by the way. Glass cannon increases your skills and damage, just to let you know if you didn't know that already. And all damage you take is amplified by 50%. Now, that part, this half, is null and void. You're not going to take that damage because the only thing that's taking the damage is a shield. So you're just dishing out an extra 25% damage behind your shield. That's nuts. And if you don't have this holster, you want to get it, especially for pistol builds. All right. And this is one of the reasons why I'm running technician specialization, because the only weapon damage core I have on here is this holster. Right. Because it came with 21 percent pistol damage, which is on top of the 20 percent that I got from the Douglas and Harden. So I'm doing 41 percent pistol damage. Right. 200 percent melee damage. And that also applies to your shield when you melee them. It doesn't do that much damage considering how much health that the enemies have. This had 10% headshot damage, right? I rolled skill damage on here so I can maximize the amount of damage I'm doing with the skills. And I just thought about this the other day. I'm like, why not? Why? I don't need the headshot damage. I need skill damage more, right? So that's an extra 30% of the skill damage I got on these three pieces already. The backpack is another Hana U Corporation. This one is special right here, y'all. It's the named one called force multiplier it's actually unrolled and that's because i don't have a maximum skill damage that i can roll on here once i get it i'm gonna roll 
another 10%. This came with perfect combined arms. Shooting an enemy increases total skill damage by 30% for 3 seconds. I used the regular combined arms on my Keener's Fate build, but it's even more effective on this because first of all you get 30% instead of 25 and you're always going to be shooting the enemy that's just what you do so there's three seconds it doesn't really matter because every time you shoot somebody it's gonna reproc reproc every time you shoot somebody so this right here is increasing your drones damage by 25 percent from glass cannon another 30 percent from this i'm going to show you how much damage the drone does when i get to it but it is insane man like you won't believe how much damage it does for the gloves i have hardwired this is just for the skill haste okay i got two pieces i used to have the three pieces for 15 percent skill damage but if i had the three piece i wouldn't be able to have douglas and harding or the wyvern and that's taken away from my pistol damage and that's the only damage i have for my pistol i don't have any weapon damage cores rolled on here for my for my pistol so all my damage is coming from just the gear which allows you to do a lot with this build if you don't need the weapon damage cores then you can do so much with your skill but it also makes it so that it's strong in both areas make sure you roll skill damage on every piece y'all because that's what's gonna make your skills overpowered for the knee pads i have another hardwired knee pads for the skill haste rolled another 10 percent skill damage all right y'all for the skills i'm using a bulwark ballistic shield i think this is my favorite shield out of the three it's just an animal i mean probably because i like using the liberty pistol and the liberty is really strong on shield builds and pistol builds but as you can see i have a skill tier of six which maxes this out and if i have somebody running that talent where it overcharges you then your shield becomes invulnerable and it takes no damage and this is what i was talking about it has 13 million hp and this is without any armor cores and remember the armor cores are what stack with your shield so that's why the shield is so beautiful because you could go, you can go two ways with it. you can go a full tank right or you can go full skill tier and have the shield be really strong the upside with the skill tier way of going with it is that you can have maximum damage skills so i did say that you can use whatever skill you like to use with this that's why it's called the liberty technician you can be versatile whatever whatever build you like you can mix it up with how you want to do it but this is like a pvp and a pve build right so on both play styles the drone which is my personal preference is op okay Normally, when you're using a shield, just by default, it draws the aggro of the enemies. That's just the nature of the shield. I mean, I, I even find myself shooting at a shield. But in PvE, enemies always shoot at the shield, right? So if you're pushing up on an enemy in PvP and PvE, and you have a drone above their head, how difficult is that to deal with? This does 70k damage. So that's 70,000 damage a bullet. PvP is 7,000 damage a bullet, almost eight. And you notice how fast the drone shoots, right? The cooldown is 18.5 seconds, so it comes back right away, pretty much. And it almost has three million health. Now this damage is only when you're not activating combined arms. When combined arms is activated, this goes up to 114,000 per bullet. With how fast this drone shoots, it's dishing out millions of damage every couple seconds. And you saw how it was working in PVP. It's not just an annoyance, it's a problem. So you're pushing up on somebody with the shield, you're doing massive damage with your pistol, and you're doing massive damage with your drone. I've used this in Heroic. I actually tried to solo a Legendary with this build, and I honestly was doing pretty good, man, considering that it was a Legendary. But it's just kind of overwhelming when you're, when you're doing a Legendary. Those Legendaries are crazy hard, especially when you're solo. But I'm going to go at it again, because when I did the Legendary, I didn't, I didn't have skill damage on my holster. I wasn't running glass cannon, so I made a few changes. So I'm gonna go back and try it again. But with this in a team, you're not just a tank. You're not just a tank, okay? You're a tank that deals out massive damage. You can actually be really effective as a tank. One of the best builds I've ever made. And I, I had to bring it back. And I hope you guys really enjoy this build. And I definitely suggest that you try it out because a shield build with this much versatility should not be passed up on. Next build I'm doing is that Merciless build that I'm still working on. I want it to be good for you guys. This right here is going to go in my Legacy series. And I'm going to post another vote in my community chat to see which one of the builds you want me to make next. Comment down below to let me know which ones you think I should post and which ones you want to see. Stay tuned for that Merciless build because that one is a really good one too. And if you enjoyed this video and if it helped you out in any way, please drop a like and don't hesitate to subscribe. I appreciate all your support. Love my subs and viewers. I'll see you in the next video. Be right out.